Keep it in mind, first animals of the planet. Earth has been hosting living and unliving creatures since its formation in the Big Bang. Among these living creatures are our animal friends that have been around long before us human beings appeared on the planet. Birds whose shadows fall on the earth once they spread their wings. Lions that roar and shake the earth. Elephants that can remove trees from their roots with their teeth and of course, the glamorous age of the dinosaurs. There are so many majestic animals that you may have not even heard of or believed in even if you did hear their names. Yeah, you! Here are the first four interesting animals that we know of. Elasmosaurus Elasmosaurus is the first known genus of reptile that lived on our planet around 80.5 million years ago. So, it is at the top of the family tree of any snake or worm you know. It used to live in North America and it had two different species, one that can swim and the other that could fly. Elasmosaurus that could swim would mostly feed on fish, whereas the flying ones tended to be herbivores. When the American paleontologist Edward Drinker Cope was once trying to merge an Elasmosaurus specimen and put the skull on top of the animal's tail end, he was despised by his colleagues and therefore started the War of Bones. How bizarre it is that a creature that lived millions of years ago could cause such controversy. If you are also willing to see a properly merged Elasmosaurus skeleton, you can visit Milwaukee Public Museum for your information. Opabinia have you ever come across an animal that you couldn't identify? If you haven't, here is one for you. This animal, this, the weird thing, is Opabinia. This arthropod that lived exactly 505 million years ago was just 5.7 centimeters long. Its body had lobes along the sides and a fan-shaped tail. It did not only have five eyes on its head, but it also had a mouth that was under its head facing backward. We assume today that Opabinia lived on the ocean floor and fed on small and soft food by using its fan-shaped proboscis. Just like the surface of the earth, underwater did host and still hosts amazing creatures. What a wonderful world! Purosaurus Purosaurus is an extinct genus of giant caiman that lived in South America around 8 million years ago. It lived in the Amazons in Brazil and Peru, and its name means Purus River Lizard Reptile. These giant caimans were ten times larger and faster than the crocodiles today. They were omnivores, that is to say they fed on both meat and plants. They had such strong muscles they could kill a living creature within a few seconds. I guess we should be thankful they're not around anymore. Titanoboa if you could imagine an animal that is 14 meters long and weighs more than a ton, wouldn't you just laugh because you couldn't believe it exists? If I told you to imagine an animal which is 14 meters long and weighs more than a ton, wouldn't you just laugh because you couldn't believe it exists? But the animal did exist, and they named it Titanoboa, which means titanic, gigantic boa. Titanoboa lived in the untouched forests of South America around 58 million years ago, and they are on top of the family tree of anacondas and boadae as their distinct relative. This snake could kill its prey with a pressure of 281 kilograms. Try to think of it this way. Imagine you were crushed under something 22 tons, or else under the Eiffel Tower in Paris. A titanoboa could swallow a crocodile in a lump, and you wouldn't even see the prey because its body is so large. Besides, they've been saying that titanoboas could return to Earth if the global warming goes on at this speed. We know that the body temperature of a snake adapts itself according to the temperature of its surroundings. Because snakes like hot temperatures, global warming facilitates their reproduction rates. So, we can say that evolution is knocking on our door. Caution! We might hand down 14-meter-long titanoboas to the grandchildren of the grandchildren of our grandchildren. If we don't want this to happen, we should definitely take precautions against global warming. Keep in mind that all living beings you come across in your life are the size you're accustomed to. A human being that lived a million years ago could see you as a very small creature. The reason to this is that the nature and all living things on Earth are able to adapt to the changes every day. Dinosaurs are not only fictional characters of a fantastic movie, but they are also your fellow friends that helped you adapt to nature and prepared this life for you. The world will be full of beauty as long as you love all the animals, from the largest to the smallest. 
Do not ever deprive yourself of these marvels of nature.